Hi guys, uh, some of you will uh, probably remember me, I'm Tom Foligno. Um, I'm the one who made the Master Sword and the Meat Tenderizer for last year's AGDQ. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm doing for this year's AGDQ, which is about three weeks. First I'm going to show you the uh, Yoshi coins, which I know uh, you've seen already, but now we have this nice little carrying case for them, which uh, Tess put together. She's actually the one shooting this video. Um, you can see the five coins inside, and on the outside we've got a 1UP and AGDQ 2013. So uh, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. So the rest of this video, what I'm going to show you is how I make a blade for the gun blade, which is going to be given away this year. This right here is a blank which I made in uh, CNC mill. So if you can see the engraving, uh, that's the winged griever right there. And then this, this is made out of stainless steel, and I'm going to cut this out for the blade. I'm going to show you how I do that using a template and a plasma cutter. So this is a template which I made, and uh, what I do is I put this on top of the stainless steel. Okay, so what I'm going to do to locate the template is I'm going to use these dial calipers, and I'm going to use them to measure the distance between the template and the edge of the blank. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to use these clamps to hold the template in place. Then I'm going to clamp the template and the piece onto this fixture. Need my ground clamp. Need my sunglasses. Okay, so I've got my template on. I've got my clamps, everything's set to go, I've got my ground clamp, and I'm just going to cut out this first little nick off the top of the blade. So here we go. Alright, now this is the second cut. I'm going to cut this swoop off the bottom of the blade. You have a little better view this time. Alright, here's a third cut. I'm just cutting off the uh, top front of the blade. Okay, so now I'm going to do the last cut. Um, this is going to be the long cut. This is the whole edge of the blade. Um, I had originally intended to shoot this video as sort of like a joke speed run, you know. This is like how Tom does a speed run. He cuts out metal things instead of playing video games. But my air compressor takes too long to charge up, so it would have been a really boring video with like five minutes of just standing here looking around waiting for the air compressor. So that's why I didn't do that. So here we are. Like I just said, last cut, and let's see if this works out.
that's it for plasma cutting. Now I'll show you how I actually make this, this piece into a thinner blade. So I take my templates off. Yeah. Old hard drive magnets are really good for holding metal stuff in place. Now you can see that the template is smaller than the finished piece. Um, so when you do make a template, you have to make it under size so that your piece comes out the right size. So there we go. You can see it's rough cut. There's our griever. So this is my anvil. It's a uh, Quite an old anvil, actually. It was made in 1885, as far as I can tell. Um, I'm not really an experienced blacksmith, but I think I can get this part right anyway. Hitting stuff with a hammer. Okay, I had to take a little break there just to remove some of the crud from this blade. So, uh, So blacksmithing, like I said, I'm not really much of an experienced blacksmith. Um, all right, and there we have it. There's the uh, finished blade. As you can see, there's our griever engraving. Um, here's a nice edge um, that's quite dull. Um, if anyone was wondering, I think I've mentioned this in the forums, but if anyone's curious as, about, as to whether this is an actual sharp edge, it's not. You can see I can run my finger on it. Um, also, I know there's a little question about that last year with the Master Sword. Um, all these blade type things I make, they're made out of softer alloys. Um, kind of like your, your kitchen flatware, like your spoons and forks and butter knives. It's, it's a stainless steel, but you can't really sharpen it, or if you did sharpen it, it would become dull almost immediately. Um, but you can't tell that from looking at it. It looks like uh, quite a nice edge. So um, I'll be posting some more pictures once the item is completely finished. Um, in the meantime, or whenever, if anybody wants me to make more videos, um, you know, videos about, uh, you know, making these metal prizes or just about metal stuff in general, um, you know, I can do that. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Um, or if you want, I can do some, uh, like, dramatic readings of this novel I'm writing. Maybe some, maybe some reviews of, like, video games and movies. And, uh, uh, okay. All right, I'll stick to metal stuff. All right. <laughs> All right, see you later.